Ronnie. Man, oh man. Let's get on with this one, shall we? So we are talking about the movie Lily Grace, A Witch Story, also known as Curse of the Witch, uh, directed by Wes Miller and stars Scott S Seg Miller and James Palmer. Now, what is this film about? I really don't know. This plot is so convoluted. I have no idea what was going on and I could have watched it from beginning to end. Let me try and make sense of it. Uh, basically, we've got these two guys who are complete strangers to another. Uh, one guy is kind of um, uh, going to a house to, after his father has passed away. The other guy is kind of running away from something and he, he, he constantly looked like he's having his shit. Literally, look at the expressions on his face. He looks like he's having his shit the whole way through the film. He's constantly pulling, like, strained faces. Anyway, he's running away from something, and they both kind of end up meeting up, and there's this strange... All of a sudden, there's this kind of this strange um, woman that's kind of turning up, and for, for kind of... They just assume she's a witch. It's ridiculous. And then you've got this whole gangster plot, uh, which takes up the bulk of the film, and the story just kind of makes real massive leaps in logic. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself for this movie. So, as you can probably tell, this is going to be a somewhat negative movie. Um, like I said, the, the actual synopsis here is two strangers defend uh, eccentric, an eccentric estate from a, a causistic witch known as Lily Grace. So that doesn't really tell you anything anyway. It's just these two guys who, have, who kind of meet up and for some reason, they team up together, and there's this kind of weird witch, weird film, weird film which doesn't make sense. Um, there are a couple of kind of somewhat disturbing scenes where we kind of see this kind of uh, old haggard kind of woman, uh, kind of like walking towards these guys and things like that, which I thought was quite good. That's pretty much the only thing I think the. Um, the, the, the kind of one of the guys at least uh, who uh, Scott uh, Sigmiller, not too too much of a bad actor I have to say, but James Palmer who plays I believe the kind of the uh, the kind of the, the thug guy or one of the kind of the, the, the kind of the runaway guy who constantly looks, looks, looks like he's shitting himself, uh, really overacting and mugging have, has like a mugging face all the time. Uh, what else can I say? It's good. Some of the effects and the, the makeup was okay. Uh, really bad. This, this this film has just the plot is all over the place. It's just I just cannot recommend this film. It's just such a kind of a like bizarre film that just seems to be slapped together and it almost feels like it's ad libbed and you just don't know what's going on. It's just such a such a bizarre film that I feel has got lots of stuff cut out of it and what we're left with is just a shell of a film that simply doesn't make sense. And you know I f I feel sometimes with 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 movies. The filmmakers know the story. They've kind of written this story, or they they're familiar with it. So they they don't think about so you know who someone else who is is watching this for the first time who has no idea what's going on how they would view it. And I feel this is a, a problem in some films is that um, you know someone who is has wrote the film they know what the story is supposed to be. So it kind of makes sense to them when they're kind of doing it. But as a outside viewer looking in, this film is just unfortunately pretty poor. Uh, because it just doesn't make sense. Um, so a couple of visual flourishes I liked. That's really the only thing I can, I can say about it in a positive way. Two out of ten for me. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.